What you see here is the work of the Quillbore young one. Year after year they had encroached on our village. The great cataclysm finally drove them from their dens to spread like locusts across my land. And now you see the result. My own mother, dead from their savagery. Today you are of age. Today you will take up your weapon and fight for the tribe and avenge the great mother. Follow the path to the east and find my son, Grull. He will lead you in our strike against the Quillbor. Grull was the name of a raid boss in Burning Crusade. That's odd that they would name Hawkwind's son after him. So I did play Torrin a little while pre-Cataclysm, back in the... before they did all the revamps of the questing zones, and I think that the mother he's talking about was that woman that always hung out by the fountain. And that's such a shame that she died. She was very helpful. She's a nice lady. So I guess we're going to be taking up our weapons against the Quillbor today. I can see him over there fighting off all the town guards. Funny how nobody ever dies in these fights. They're, they just they just all live forever. That must be nice. So this is Hawkwind's son Gruel, not the Dragon Slayer. Welcome to your first true test as a Torrin. Be careful. Behold, Skull, the very presence of the Bristleback is a blight. Nothing is left in their wake but corpses of barren land. Camp Narash could become what we see here in but a few days unless we stand and fight. This will be your right of strength. The first several of the Torrin brave go into the heart of the Thornstone and kill Bristleback Quillbor, then return to me. Absolutely. So I do have heirlooms. And that means that this is going to be considerably easier. Uh, I'm not really doing this for the challenge. I'm doing this for the story. So, for now we're going to be playing Elemental until we can choose a spec. At which point we're going to be going Enhancement, which I have significantly better gear for. And we'll play Resto in Battlegrounds or in uh, any dungeons that we do delve into. Just because healer cues are better, it'll probably be easier to commentate and really show off stuff while I'm healing and not having to worry about really anything. So I guess we're going to go out here. We're going to kill some of these goddamn quill wars. These guys are encroaching on my land. Oh, I, it's like... It's like a bunch of pig people fighting a bunch of cow people. Like, if we were on a farm, and there was a war on the farm. Like that book. There's a book about an animal farm. It was like an allegory for war or something like that. That's a lot like this is. All right, and just like that, we have already hit level two. Because I think we have something like a 35% experience bonus, which is not going to matter if I hit all the zones. I will out-level them very fast. Uh, so I'm not too worried about my levels and my XP. Uh, I haven't leveled a shaman in a very long time, so I'm very excited to see what sort of new toys and talents they have. How may I eat? As we level up, and these rewards don't matter. I have a little bit of gold from one of my uh, other characters on the server who is Horde, but all my mains are on the Alliance as of now. Despite their size, the Bristleback greatly outnumber us. A pack ambush can easily overwhelm even the largest horn. Many new initiates have taken up arms to defend our home. Some have given their lives, but others have been captured alive. Please, find their cages and free them. The battle should keep the Quill more distracted. Farewell. Okie doke. So I'm back into the heart of the fight, and we're going to go save some of our brothers. I don't like this. I prefer this map. It actually, I played for well, probably five or six years before I realized that you could do this to the map. Um, and I know this was a feature that probably wasn't in the original game. But if it was, I feel like a moron. This is so much more helpful. So do I need keys, or is this just go on and click it? I don't need keys. If only they could all be like this. I, I hate doing the quests where you have to find keys to open cages or some sort of quest where you have to find items to do something else, and those items just never drop. And all those prisoners are just staring at you from the cages like, please, you, you let us out? And I just have to sit there and be like, no, I have to kill these guys until one of them has a key. And they're like, but these cages are made of wood and little bits of rope. Surely you could just... I think, no, guys. Need a key. Doing this right. Plus, this is more XP. And they, they just get all very confused. Because uh, they don't know what it's like to be a true RPR. Uh That was the first time of many, I'm sure I'll do that. I often just open my inventory 
or my character screen or my talent page when I get that and I just look at it when I don't really pay any attention to it and it doesn't really matter but I do it a lot we've struck a great blow against the Quilmo here I will stay here and hold the line but you need to move on seek Adana Thunderhorn she has taken a few braves to the southwest to root out the rest of the bristleback okay so southwest yes we're seeking out Adana Thunderhorn Now, what I've never understood about the way this game works is that your character just sort of spawns in these starting areas, but you never really, like, get to know that you had a family. And that's always kind of disturbed me with characters that I level. They never had a family, no brothers or sisters, no parents to avenge. And from what I understand, that's sort of the role of the rp -er, is to create their own backstory and things like that, but I feel like if I ever did that, my story would just get so out of hand. And it would just really kind of turn into me being Batman that is a cow instead. Well. Alright, Adana, what have you got for me? It is my role to test your young initiates on the way to the hunt, and that hasn't changed. Today, the Quilbor are our prey. Who are they? One of the first lessons you should learn, Scorm, is to never underestimate your prey. While we were distracted by the attacks on Camp Narash, more of the Bristlebacks swept in unnoticed and stole a cache of our rifles. You can see them to the south now, filling the air with lead. This is your right of courage. Brave the hail of gunfire, hunt the Bristleback gun thieves, and bring back our rifles. Why did, why did cows have guns? I have magic. I don't even know why I would want a gun. Knowing the ways of your prey is another aspect of the hunt. In the lands they come from, Quilbor live in the shadow and protection of huge thorned roots. When they move, their shamans seed and grow new roots for them to live on, like the Zerg. These thorns mar the land and choke out other life, turning the earth around them barren. Go to the south and stop these thorn colors before they have a chance to continue scorn. Walk with the earth. And what have you to say? Rohaku Stonehoof. Just a moment ago, a messenger was looking for you, Scorn. I believe she was sent by the shaman trainer, Mila. Mila? Kunis. If this note is from Mila, I wouldn't take long in reading its contents. Shall we read it? I never really thought about what I was going to do in this playthrough when it came to texts and stuff like that, but I guess we can give it a quick read. I greet you, young shaman. The winds have told me of your coming. The earth gave praise of your strength, and now the ancient spirits whisper of your accomplishments accomplishments to come. <laughs> our people always need wise and great leaders. They often turn to our kind for both virtues. If you are willing, I can teach you more of our ways. Seek me out in Camp Narash on Red Cloud Mesa. We will speak more then. Alright, but I have to get their guns back first, Mila. You don't understand how important it is that my cow friends have more guns. So we're just going to head down here. This is oh, so much different. It's so fun to go back and see all the zones that they really changed. Because I may not have played Torn much, but I did do this zone once, and I I know it didn't look anything like this. This is nuts. So this one's a gun thief. I can tell, because he has a gun. And now he's a dead gun thief. I'm pretty sure in all the new starting zones, they made the drop rate quests, like, insanely easy. I hope that's the same here. I don't even know why I'm talking right now, because I'll probably just go back and edit out most of this pointless fighting. And just keep in most of the... most of the quests and... and uh, anything important. Maybe a little bit of fighting. But you guys don't really want to sit here and just watch me spin Thunderbolt on these guys all night. Can I move yet? No, I'm not elemental. Okay. I have never had this much difficulty killing these things this much heirloom gear before. Something is amiss. Does this even cost mana? Like, oh, I got an ability. Primal Strike, an instant weapon strike that causes 20 additional damage. So I guess I could theoretically... Oh, hold on. I actually set this up. The gear set. Oh, yes. See? This is my gear for my enhancement. I love, 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 love this bright purple vest thing. I've never used the male um, uh, BOEs until now, and that is just amazing. Oh, what a cooldown. I don't know. Until I get dual wield, it might just be better to cast. Uh, I don't know what this lag is from. I've never actually recorded anything. Like this. Uh, 
gameplay, so I don't know how it's actually going to affect my machine. It shouldn't. Totally. But you never know. We'll find out. Okay, so what I'm just going to try to do is, whenever it lags like that, I'll just stop the current video and start up a new one, and hopefully I can make that transition seamless with editing. This isn't what I want. These are what I want. casting on me right now. Also, this lag is getting just ridiculous. Why am I in freaking combat? Why can't uh, I want to switch? Oh well, I'll just put my weapon back on. I hope this lag doesn't show on the video, but I know it will. I have these two daggers from a rogue I leveled and I didn't feel like grinding out enough justice points for the maces. <laughs> I figured the daggers will work just fine for my purposes. It's not like any of this questing is going to be difficult or you know, DPS dependent. I'm sure it will be fine. I don't like this cooldown on this very basic ability. Oh, look at those armored boars. I bet there's a quest to do something with them. Hopefully it's something more fun than just mindlessly killing them. But we'll find out. This is the part I'm probably just going to cut out, all this walking around, especially without a mount or ghost wolf, it's just, oof. Takes a lot of time. Ah, I've been expecting How many have you brought me in this shit? Seven, which is what you asked for. Just, I guess I'll just take one back. With the Corruptor slain, the Earth Mother will mend her own wounds in due time. The roots are not meant to thrive here in the wither. Balance will return. We shall. Yes. There are more threats to be dealt with here. The Bristlebacks are taming wild boars to use against us. These armored battle boars have been abused beyond hope of recovery. They must be put down, for our safety and their peace. Go to the pens to the south and slay them, Scorn. Return to me afterwards. Why ten of them? You only had me kill seven of the, like, the actual threat. 